Okay. It says we're recording. Okay, I went all the way around and creased in every stitch. I counted and I now have 66 and you can see they're really densely packed there. So, for the rest of the hat, unless you want to do a band, which you can or you can leave off, you just simply continue with that thermal stitch doing one in each stitch, front loop and then back, alternating front loop and back loop, and do that all the way around. And you keep going until you have the number of rows you need for the length of the hat, which will vary according to the yarn you're using, how thick it is, the hook you're using, and your own tension and whether or not you're making a beanie or a slouch hat or you want to make it long enough to be able to roll up the ends like in a toque that would be good too And this also works well to um, end off your your main color at the end and place a band that is a contrast color. Now because we have doubled the number of stitches in that last increase round, you can see the top of our beanie, even though this is a non-increase round, it is not going to start cupping yet to form Oh, I love this. Okay. I guess we'll show you what we do when I don't like working in with those ends like that. So, and we're too far in to start over, so we will deal with it. And we will do it this way. Well, I mean, okay. Need a little bit of a long tail there. to bring the new one down and the old one around okay. over the yarn. Okay, I'm in the front loop on this one. Back loop. And I'm going to pull that over that one and up, and then over that one and up. Okay, and then this one's going into the front loop, and I want to make sure I catch that. And I'm going to go on with this one, and I'm going to 
show you what I'll do with that one in a minute. Okay. Okay. So this is front loop, so I'm gonna put that on the back loop and then wrap it around the front loop. Wrap it around the back loop and wrap around this front loop and this one back here I'm gonna do the same thing with when I come around and figure out which is gonna be front loop and back loop. same thing. I'm gonna, oops, okay, have that come up and over. That's front loop, so we want back loop. bring this up here and I'll go over it up here and weave it in again. But basically this is what you keep doing, just going around and around and it will take two or three rows before depending on your tension, your yarn and so forth before it starts um, cupping and going down the sides it's beginning just a little but not noticeable yet But this is your basic thermal stitch hat. And when you are to the bottom and you want to even out because you're just going to end the hat, <coughs> or you want to even out because you're going to do ribbing, which doesn't work in a spiral. This is the way I end off by simply doing let's say I'm at the end. I'm not. But okay, I'm doing half double crochets so I would say I'm near the end of a round just before I get to the end of it I would continue with the pattern stitch but I would switch to some single crochets 
least two, maybe three or four. So it slowly edge ends the edge, and then I would continue with another couple of slip stitches, and it ends it off, and maybe even one more slip stitch. But actually, I would do the final slip stitch by cutting the yarn and going through here and then back into the stitch and it ends it off without it being noticeable. So that is the way I would end it off when you get all the way around. I'm not going to continue because that is too long and boring. But you can see that even though this was not very big across, it's still going to be the size hat I wanted, 66 stitches. It will be that size because of the number of stitches on that final increase round. That is what is going to determine the size of the hat as far as um, fitting the width of the head. Also nice to know that it looks just as good on the inside because there are no seams. So it's totally reversible too. So anyway, that is the basic thermal stitch hat. Okay, here is the final update on, here let me see if I can go out on that, the whole hat, on the basic thermal hat. I've woven in the ends here and the top. And this is what it looks like. And it really does remind me of the fabric of thermal blankets back in the day um, when I was much younger. <laughs> so this is what it looks like from the top, a spiral. And because there aren't any seams, it can be worn inside out. Looks interesting that way too. And if you wanted to make it as a toque and make it longer so it could be folded up, you could do that too. That looks kind of cool that way. Or the opposite way and roll it up like that. Very versatile hat. So, it's the basic thermal hat. What, what I call the thermal stitch. So, once I publish this, someone will probably tell me that, oh, that's some other stitch that somebody invented 50 years ago or something. <laughs> but I've not, I've not seen a pattern with it, so um, I didn't know what to call it, and I needed to call the beanie some, or the, you know, the hat something. So it's a thermal hat. Okay, that is it. Have a great day.